Now you have seen hundreds of different YouTubers make busting myth videos, but you have never seen any YouTuber make busting myth videos all about eyes. Well, besides me, I have done it once or twice, but today we're gonna do it again, but take it to an extremely new level. So drop a like on this video and let's do this. Now the first myth that we're gonna bust today is if you have one eyeball, you cannot drive a car and well, we're gonna put this to the test. My car, let's see if I can drive it. All right, guys, we are in my car and now we're gonna turn this thing on and see if somebody with one one eye can actually drive. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I am actually driving a car right now, which means that somebody with one eyeball can actually drive. I've actually been driving a car for almost seven years, which is surprising, and I have never been in an accident. Fingers crossed I never get in one, but it is actually true that somebody with one eyeball can actually drive a car, and well, the only thing that's hard is like looking out of the mirror, but I just have to crank my head all the way. So guys, somebody with one eyeball can drive, so myth busted. You can't build a prosthetic eyeball out of Legos, and well, I'm gonna put this to the test. So as you can see, I have all of these Legos right here. And well, I'm gonna be building an eyeball out of this. So the first thing we have to do is find the base of the eyeball. So we're gonna look through all this right here and I can already see one that stands out. This right here can be the actual base of the eyeball because it's white. And now that we have the base of the eyeball, we're gonna see if the base fits. All right, guys, we have the base of the eyeball. I'm gonna put this in my eye socket and we're gonna see if this will work as the base. So here we go. Yo, it actually fits. So that means we can use this as the eyeball. So now we have to find the pupil to make the eyeball complete. All right, guys, so I was looking around in this Legos right here, and well, out of everything here, I thought the best thing for an eyeball would be this little black piece right here. So now let's put this eyeball together. You know, honestly, this is gonna be pretty simple because all I have to do is put this on here, and just like that, the eyeball is complete. So now let's put in this Lego eyeball and see if this actually was a success or not. So here we go. Yo, it actually fits in my eye socket, and it feels pretty good, so you can actually actually build an eyeball out of Lego. People with one eyeball cannot throw a ball in the air and catch it. And while this actually might be true, because people with one eyeball have terrible depth perception. So I have a ball right here. So let's see if I can actually do this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have the ball. And now it's time to see if this is true or not. So here we go. Oh, I actually caught it and I caught it with one hand. Let's do it again to see if I can do this again. Here we go. Oh, I am one for one, so let's do one more shot. All right, last and final attempt to see if somebody with one eyeball can catch a ball. Here we go. Oh, let's go, I actually did it. A one-eyed person cannot walk in a straight line. This actually might be true, because whenever I'm in public, I always shoulder check people on accident because I don't have my eyeball, and I'm pretty sure it's because I don't walk in a straight line. So let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see if I can walk in a straight line. Here I go. Oh, I'm doing it. This is actually easy. A one-eyed person can definitely walk in a straight line. You have one eyeball, you cannot pour a glass in well. Let's find out. So I have a cup right here and we're gonna pour this Gatorade into the cup. All right, guys, here we go. Let's see if I can actually do this. Here we go and... Oh, oh! I got all of it, let's go! You can't put a fake eyeball in someone's real eyeball, so I'm gonna find out. So here is my collection of eyeballs. I have over 70 eyeballs, and today we're gonna try to put my rainbow eye in my real eye. Now, I really don't think this is possible, but I'm gonna give it my best shot for you guys, so drop a like on this video, and well, let's see if my rainbow eye will fit in my real eye. Yeah, there's no way, uh, unless this counts. This one is actually insane. It's gonna blow your mind. It is, you cannot put two eyeballs in at once, and well, I'm gonna try this right now. I'm gonna see how many eyeballs I can fit in my eye socket at once. So let's do it. So for this challenge, I'm gonna use all of my clear eyeballs and I have one, two, three, four. So let's see how many I can fit. All right, the goal to be is two eyeballs in my eye socket at once. So we're gonna put this first clear eyeball in right now. Here we go. There is one eyeball in there pretty easily. And now let's put in the second one. Let's go with this eyeball right here, this clear eye. So here's the second clear eye eyeball and yo it fits actually pretty well this might be a world record i have no idea but let's go with this clear eyeball right here the moment of truth a world record and a myth bust right here if this works oh my gosh it might work it might work yo we have three eyeballs in my eye socket at once we might as well just go for four so let's see if we can actually do this here we go 
Oh, there's no way it dropped on the floor, but we got three eyeballs in at once. A fake eyeball can't move. This is actually mind blowing. Check this out. Let's go with this blue eye. So most people think that when you have a fake eyeball, the eyeball does not move and it just looks straight forward at all times. But I'm gonna put this eyeball in right now and I'm gonna show you that a fake eyeball actually can move. Check this out. I can look to the left, up, down and to the right. It doesn't move a lot, but it does move a little. It's actually pretty crazy for a fake eyeball. It is impossible to make your own fake eye. And well, we've already done that once in this video with the Lego eyes, but I'm gonna show you guys how I made my actual eye. So out of my collection of eyeballs, I have 70 eyes, but I actually made three eyes by myself. And that was this eye right here. And then also my Mangekko Sharingan and this realistic looking eye right here. So the first fake eyeball that I ever made by myself, I actually made it out of clay and epoxy and so much more. And it was this eye right here. But as you can see, it does not fit at all. Like it doesn't even fit in my eye socket. So after that blue eyeball, I said, you know what? I'm gonna try and make a Mangekko Sharingan eye. So I made this Mangekko Sharingan eye right here and it actually turned out so good. Like check this eyeball out, except the problem is, the eyeball doesn't fit. It just falls out just like that. And then the last eyeball that I made by myself at home, but it was this yellow eyeball right here. And this thing is actually so realistic. Like check this eyeball out. You would never be able to tell that I made this from home. So yes, you can make your own eyeball, but it does take a lot of practice and well, mine still is not perfect yet, but maybe one day I can make a perfect eyeball all by myself. This next myth is mind blowing. It is, if you are watching this right now, you will drop a like on this video and subscribe to my channel right now. You did it? Oh, awesome. Let's go. You actually did it. So on to the next one. If you have one eyeball, yep. I definitely have one eyeball. You cannot pass an eye exam. So I have an eye exam right here. And well, I'm gonna see if I can complete it. Guys, here's the eye exam. I'm gonna start at line 10. So let's do this. Go with F D P L T C E. Oh, let's go. I actually got past line 10. So let's go on to line 11. All right, line 11. This one is a lot harder. There's no way I'm going to get past this, but I'm going to give it my best shot. I'm going to go with P E Z O L C F T D. And it looks like I actually got past line 11. So somebody with one eyeball can get past an eye exam. I guess I just have like superhuman vision in this eye. This next one is actually mind blowing. It says that eyeballs don't grow and well, I'm gonna prove this wrong. So in my collection of eyeballs, this was the last eyeball that I ever got. And then also this was my first eye. So here are the two eyeballs. This was my last eyeball and this is my first eye. And as you can see, my last eyeball is a lot bigger than my first. So I'm gonna put in the first ever eyeball that I ever got to show you guys how small this thing is. Like it doesn't even look good at all. And then that is because my eye socket actually grows. So therefore my eyeball has to grow. And this is my last eyeball, which fits perfectly. An eyeball can withstand over 200 pounds of force. So I have my dumbbells all right here. These things go up to almost 100 pounds and my eyeball. So let's test it. Let's place my eyeball on the ground right here. And then let's start with this 50 pound weight. All right, guys, we have my eyeball right here. We have the weight. Now let's see if my eyeball survives. That did not sound good, but here we go. We have the eyeball and it actually survives. So let's just go to the max weight, which is 100 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a 100 pound weight. And well, here's my eyeball and we're gonna see if it survives 100 pounds. So here we go. One, two, three. That is so heavy. I feel like it broke it. There's only one way to find out. So drop a like and here we go. Yo, my eyeball survived. So what I'm gonna do is put my eyeball back down here and I'm gonna jump on it because I weigh 200 pounds and that weight weighs 100. So we're gonna see if my eyeball can withstand 300 pounds of force. I have the weight in my hands and now I'm gonna jump on it. Here I go, three, two, one. Oh. That actually hurt my foot, but my eyeball, yo, no way. My eyeball actually survived. This next one is actually mind blowing. It is, if you hit your head hard enough, your eyeball can actually fall out. So I'm gonna see if I can do this right now. So here I go. Ah! My eyeball actually fell out. I guess if you hit your head hard enough, your eyeball can actually come out because this is my real eyeball right here. And it just came out. So it's safe to say this was one of the craziest busted eyeball myths videos ever because my eyeball actually came out and we busted some of the craziest eyeball myths known to man. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, drop a like and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in next week's video. Peace.